YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. This one's a little different, in a different location. Um, I got a recommendation in one of my comments from Hulk Hogan's mustache. Wanted to know what type of protein I use and what my meal prep is for the day. So I'm gonna kind of go through that. I'll show you the different um, supplements I take. I have some new ones here and somewhat show you my meal prep because it changes every day. And just a disclaimer, you probably won't be happy with what I eat. My little stack here I have on my table, which pretty much stays there all the time. I live here by myself so I can keep stuff out. This is basically my dinner table slash meal prep table. I don't need a big kitchen table. I don't make, a, and I'll show you as we go through, I don't make a lot of food. A lot of my food comes out of the freezer. But first, let's get into my proteins, what I make, what I put in my protein drinks, and what I use. So, up until now, pretty much, I have been using the Meyer brand wheat protein. It's cheap, it's $20 for this, and you get about 20 servings. So a dollar a serving. It has fat, three grams of fat, eight carbs, three grams of sugar, and it is 30 grams of protein. It is a wee protein blend, and it has a lot of other stuff that I was just watching some videos on. They were saying, you know, stuff you don't want in your protein powders, and a lot of that's in here. So I decided to make a change today and pick up a different brand. So, and this is almost gone. I think I may have like a scoop left in here. So I've been on this brand, different flavors. They have vanilla, um, I have a cookies and cream in there, which I don't like, I don't, I'm not a cookies and cream fan. But basically vanilla and strawberry are the two that I go through the most. And I've been on this, I'd say at least five months, five, six months, I've probably been using this brand. So I would take this, obviously, um, I would do one in the morning before I go to work and then come home from work, usually work out, take another one before, right after my workout. Some days maybe I'd take a third one late in the evening, it just depends, but typically it would be two. So let's just say most days it was two. So the, the protein shake drink I'd make right after my workout, I'd put in one scoop, five grams of creatine in that one. And then within the last month, I started adding L-glutamine. I was taking the pills. If you've seen the video where I had, geez, I had to pop like what, 10 pills to get, what was it, like five um, grams of L-glutamine, where this now is five grams per scoop, and I will put one scoop in each of my drinks. So I get at least 10 grams a day, and I will show you, I also drink some other stuff during the day and I'll put a scoop in there. So typically about 15 grams of L-glutamine a day. This, and I will say this, unflavored it says. Unflavored, not supposed to have any flavor to this. You put this in your protein drink, it gives it a sour taste. Not sour like sour uh, candy or anything. Sour like sour milk when milk starts to go bad just get a hint of that with this in there, which I'm not a big fan of. So to cover that up and also, especially like the vanilla and stuff, to give it a little extra flavor, I put a scoop of this in there. A scoop of malt mix. Then your drink, your protein drink, tastes like a malt shake. And this is, I mean, I, it's saying three tablespoons. I probably put one tablespoon in. So for three tablespoons, it's 90 calories, 1.5 grams of uh, fat two grams of protein, so you can cut that down by a third. So I just put a little in there just to add a little flavor and it kind of masks what this does to my protein shake. So I've been on this one. I was going to get the gold standard wee protein. Costco has it. I was gonna to go to Grand Rapids. You don't know Grand Rapids. It's the closest Costco is like 45 minutes away. I was gonna go get it today, but plans changed. And then I was watching some other videos and then I realized that um, wee protein that they have is pretty similar to the Meyer brand where it's uh, a blend. I was like, well, I don't wanna do a blend. So Gold Standard also 
has this one, the gold standard isolate. So I picked this up. Rite Aid had it, it's really close by. So I picked this up, they had two flavors. I have the rich, or not the rich, the chocolate bliss and rich vanilla. So these, I think, close. I mean, the chocolate one is 110 calories versus 100 in the rich vanilla. A little different. I mean, this has 0.5 grams of fat. This has no fat. Um, the chocolate has 190 milligrams of sodium, where the vanilla has 80 milligrams. Both have 25 grams of protein. So a little less than the wheat protein, but isolate's supposed to be better. So I am going to stick with just this brand, these ones, probably for a month or two. I think I'll take it and see if I notice any difference. Because with that being said, so we have 24 servings in this versus 20 servings. So about the same, 20 to 22, or 24 servings over here. So a little more, a couple, four more servings over here. But this is, what did I pay for this? $40 versus $20. And Myers always has sales like every other week or so where it's like buy one, get one half off. So it comes out to be even cheaper. So I'll try this for a few months. If, is it gonna be that much of a difference worth almost double the price? Will isolate, will I see benefits from this that equal or make up for the price difference and how much more this cost? Leave in the comments below if you've been taking proteins, powders. Did you do, do you do a blend or an isolate? And if you've done both, have you seen any difference? Is it worth the price to take an isolate? I will find out. I'll do it for a couple months and see if I notice any difference in how I feel. Do I gain any more muscle mass in that time? Or is it just, you know, stick with just whatever protein works for you, whatever's cheapest. But I'll try these out and see how they work. Okay, so the other difference with this and like the brand that I was taking, the Meyer brand, this says 5.5 grams of BCAs. And I was just trying to look it up to see, okay, well, what BCAs are in here? If you know, drop in the comments below, this is telling me for the gold standard 100% uh, Wii, which isn't this. So it says over four grams of glutamine and glutamic acid in each serving. I'm just trying to look it up. Like, I wish they would put on there exactly what it is. Again, if you know, drop it down in the comments below. Because if I'm, well, I mean, if this has the glutamine in it, do I need to keep adding this? I mean, obviously I know I see some weightlifters, they take like 25 to 30 grams a day. So if I'm getting some here, I'm getting some here, that would get close to that. So drop it in the comments below if you know what BCAs are in here. Is it five grams of glutamine in there? So I will make one of these in a second here to try it out, see how the taste is. All right, so for making my protein shakes, I use the BlendJet. Amazing device. Sometimes it's super quiet, easy to do. I can pack this in my lunch bag, so I will usually take one um, to work too. Sometimes I'll put it in my lunch, you know, because I can put my powders in here, put my little mix together, and then when I get there, I just add water. I don't drink my protein shakes, drinks with milk. I just don't like it with milk, not because I'm. Um, lactose intolerant or anything. It just, I think it makes it too thick. I just prefer it with water. So let's try one of these. Let's go with the chocolate bliss. We'll try this one first. And so serving size here is just one scoop. Because different brands like that Meyer brand, it's 20 servings in there, but the servings are two servings to get one serving. Two scoops to get one serving, where this is just one scoop, which it is a bigger scoop. All right, we'll get some water in here. And the reason I say this is the blend jets are good sometimes, because I've had issues. I've had issues with one of mine. Um, there's times where it won't, you'll, you'll plug it in to charge it, and you gotta play with it and play with it and play with it for the lights to turn on, like it isn't registering that it's plugged in. And then I've had once where the charger overheated and melted. I had a friend who had one, the, the charger melted as it was plugged in and ruined the blend jet. So there's just, it's an amazing device if they can just work out the bugs with this thing. 
Okay. All right, everybody likes to talk about blendability. Um, no chunks, no, no grit. It's very smooth, so it mixed up well. Again, I'm, I know a lot of people use this stupid little hand shakers. Just get yourself a blend jet. It's so simple. Then you don't have to drink on it if you don't want. You can pour it into a glass. Um, Taste-wise, not bad at all. This is chocolate bliss. I don't know what the bliss is supposed to mean, but it's it's a decent chocolate. Again, I mixed it with about uh, with the powder in there. I filled it up to I think about 11 ounces. So it was probably to track that powder amount in there. It's probably about eight ounces of water. I mean, yeah. So then to rinse to clean this. Just gonna show you this real quick. I mean, you just rinse it out real quick. Take a little bit of Dawn, or whatever dish detergent you have. Fill it up with some warm water. Put your top back on. cleans itself. Just rinse it out, set it over to dry, and you're good to go next time. All right, now on to my meal prep for the day. Um, I work first shift. I don't, yes, I have another job. I don't do YouTube full time. I wish I did. I don't make enough money off here to do it full time. So I have a full time job I go to and I work for first shift. So I usually start at seven o'clock, some days six. So I usually make my, most of my, pack my lunch, um, the evening before so I don't have to waste time in the morning. Like I said, I'll pre-make my um, protein shake. I'll put my powder in my blend jet and just stick it in my lunch bag with some snacks. Yes, I have snacks and I will show you those. That's why I was saying at the beginning, you're probably not gonna like what I eat. I don't eat the healthiest. I eat what I like. I don't eat a lot. You're gonna see a lot of snacks, like a lot. I don't eat them all. I mean graze a little here or there but a lot of these snacks i buy because i have people that come over and work out here and i will show if you're new to this and you don't know my little workout setup i'll show you that real quick so i have people that come over and work out and some of them like snacks they enjoy coming here they run right to my uh my little door over here and they open it up see what i got and just go to town on snacks right away pre-snacks hold that thought because i'm gonna grab something Okay, yes, I have a giant box of Rice Krispies. So my friend that came over to work out today was like, showed me a video last night, like, hey, we're gonna work out in the morning, right? We gotta have a Rice Krispie treat first. I was like, what? I'm like, well, I don't have any. I guess I'll go to the store and I, I'm in and out of stores really quick. I was like, okay, this is the first thing I saw, this giant box. I guess I'll just get us a giant box of Rice Krispies. Because in this, I don't know if it was a TikTok or Instagram. This dude is talking like, yeah, you got to have a Rice Krispie treat before you work out. You get an amazing pump. So my friend is like convinced, like, we're going to have Rice Krispie treats before we work out because we're going to get the best pump ever. We both had two Rice Krispie treats this morning. I feel like, and I'm not going to say it had anything to do with the Rice Krispie treat. I got less of a pump. I definitely did not get a better pump than I normally do. I, yeah, so... Rice Krispie Trees don't give you a better pump. But leave it in the comments below if you've seen that video. Have you tried it? Did it work for you? I mean, I mean, Rice Krispie Trees are delicious, but they're not gonna help out your pump. Let's just go to the little door over here, my little snack door next to my patio. Um, like I said, camera's a little crooked. I don't cook a lot. I may make tacos once, every few weeks. I don't, and I think I've only used my oven down, you know, to heat up the shells. I've cooked some eggs and stuff on top. I don't cook a lot. A lot of my food comes out of the freezer or, or in the microwave. Yeah, so, but let's first go to the snack door. Okay. Just, yeah, some snickerdoodles. I, and some of this stuff, 
is you'll if you've watched my channel you're like oh i've you did a video on it yeah and that's why these are up here and my friends have been going on those um the rice krispie treats uh, again a lot of this just kind of sits in here i did a video on this i haven't had it since mm, my friend does like donuts so do i i usually pack one of these in my lunch ah, nutty buddies very good uh hocus pocus cereal okay this crap here hippy dippy chips we were at the store and we saw this and my friend was like gotta get these i hate them my friend loves them psychedelically sweet and savory tortilla chips this you gotta have your twizzlers the pull and peel Ch oh, these are amazing uh here's my other protein powder that i don't drink i just don't like it get this out of the way uh, extra thing of malt mix back there. Tons of creatine because it's hard to find in the store. I get that at Meyer. So when I, like, they rarely ever have it. So when they did, I just bought a bunch of it. It lasts. I mean, the expiration date's long on it. And no other snacks in there. So I just stocked up on as much creatine as I could get when they had it in there. Okay, let's move over to this side of the kitchen where there are some more snacks. The chips. You gotta have chips. Yeah, and some of this I do put my lunch, and so I'll have a protein shake, and I'll usually make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich too. Peanut butter, and just some stuff up there. So my lunch will usually consist of peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh, a protein shake, a nutty buddy that we had over there, maybe some little donuts, and like a little bag of chips. I gotta have snacks. Just snacks. All right, we're gonna go down here last. Um, freezer, like I said, this is where most of my food is that I eat, you know, breakfast sandwich. I mean, come on, these are delicious and it's 12 grams of protein. Ice creams, nine grams of protein. Uh, lactose free, I'm not lactose free, but this, if you have not had Fairlife ice cream and you are like, these are amazing, absolutely amazing. Got those, move those out of the way. A lot of things in here are like high protein, or at least supposed to be. Got these big and bold, 16 grams of protein. They suck. They are not, it's mostly crust. It's not loaded like this. I've had one of these. This is garbage. Majority of my meals are lean cuisines. Love these, absolutely love them. 12 grams of protein, chicken on enchilada, amazing. The ravioli is amazing, 10 grams of protein. Uh, Hawaiian pizza, you gotta have a Hawaiian pizza. The lasagna one is absolutely amazing. 17 grams of protein, love these. That's the majority of my meals. I just picked these up today. I don't know, I figured I'd have some burgers. So that's, and then you gotta have your big and bold burritos, 18 grams of protein. Okay, so like I said, that's mostly what I eat. I don't eat a lot. And I know it doesn't look the greatest, but Okay, the fridge, there's not much food in the fridge. There's some condiments, there's, it's mostly drinks. That's what my fridge is for is drinks. Like I said, most of my food comes out of the freezer. So let's check out the fridge. Yeah, so uh, there's the fridge. Let's just start over here. You got your water, your milk, your orange juice, some condiments, amazing. Chick-fil-A poly sauce, that's amazing stuff. Let's go up top. We got my Mountain Dew Voodoo. I did a review on it, that's why I have it there. Some pudding, some pies. I have carrots, you know, we've got some healthy stuff. Eggs, delicious. Again, Fairlife. Fairlife makes some amazing stuff. I know they did the video on how they treat their cows a long time ago. I hope they fix that because their stuff is amazing. Again, if you're lactose free, I'm not, but this is some of the best chocolate milk out there. It has 13 grams of protein. As you can see, I'm, I, I go through it so fast, I gotta keep it loaded with chocolate milk in here. Especially my friends come over, they love it too. It, people, when they come here, they expect, and I like to provide, so that's why. You want an energy drink? I got you covered. This is my morning. I have two a day. I usually have one right when I get up in the morning, say at like five o'clock, and then I'll have one at about two in the afternoon. So this is my morning. Um, Energy drink. I drink the white, the whatever you'd call it, the Zero Ultra. Blah, doesn't even have a name for it, right? It's just 
the white can. I mix between these two for my two o'clock one. One day I'll do the blue and one day the red. Delicious, I love them. Zero calories, zero sugar, or not zero calories, 10 calories, but zero sugar. And it has 140 milligrams of caffeine. Ghost are absolutely amazing. Not this flavor, I don't like the cream. That's for my friend. Warheads is good. Blue Sour Patch, ah, I like the red, it's gone. And the bubble gum, the bubble gum is really delicious. Love these, trying to cut down on them a little bit. The only reason I'm trying to cut down on these, I mean, they are amazing. I love the cans, they look so cool. It's 200 milligrams, so it's an extra 60 milligrams of caffeine. I'm trying to cut down some caffeine intake every day, but I keep these on days where I'm really tired, then I'll still have a ghost. Just like bangs, I won't drink bangs because why do bangs have to be 300 milligrams of caffeine? We don't need that much caffeine in one can. If other companies would lower it down to like this range, 140, I'd probably buy others. And Monster, I mean, save me some money, sponsor the channel, send me some Monster drinks. Down here we have other protein drinks, so if I'm not making a protein shake, I'll knock one of these out. I did a review and you're probably like, Jason, why do you got so many pumpkin spice? I thought you're giving those away. I did give them away to my friend. And then I just bought two more cases a day. I'll tell you why. I gave the pumpkin spice away because I was like, they're okay. Don't love them. At least at the time I didn't think I did. I'm like, I'll try a different one. I'll get the chocolate. So I got some chocolate and I've gone through them. I think I only have three left. The chocolate isn't that good. Like I'm something about the chocolate. I'm not big on the flavor. And after getting the chocolate, I'm like, I miss the pumpkin spice. Those were actually really good. So, and I know they're not gonna be out very long, so I've stocked up on these. So if I don't feel like making a protein shake, I'll make one of these, 30 grams of protein. I know I just saw a video too on a guy, and he seems to know everything he's talking about. He knows everything about the green and stuff, and he was, the video is like, you know, the best protein uh, supplements you can get from Walmart. And clearly, I mean, the one that he picks, ISO Pier sponsors the channel, so take it for what it is. That's the best one he claims. And they also sponsor his channel. But you know, he came to those, those premier protein drinks. He's like, oh, it's milk protein. That's not good for protein synthesis. You know, that's just like a meal replacement. Don't get those. And I was like, Shh. and I just watched that video today. I'm like, shit, man, I just bought a bunch of these. So they're not gonna do anything. Well, then I just looked online and I'm looking at all these other sites and everything. It's like, no, milk protein is great for muscles. It may even do more. So leave in the comments below, what do you think about milk protein versus whey protein? I mean, any difference or is protein protein? I mean, because it depends on who you talk to, what site you read, what article you read. One will say, no, it doesn't do anything. This is better, that's better. That's why I'm, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do this isolate for like two months and see if I notice any difference. Is there really that much of a difference between taking a, you know, a pure isolate versus a wee protein blend? I mean, the one costs way more. So if I don't see any difference, then I'm just gonna stick to whichever one's like on sale. But we'll find out in a couple of months. Also, I've got to, my little, of course, I take my jerks. Well, however you feel about them, whether this is, um, actual Turk in here or just a, a ecti steroid again like I said in the video a couple weeks ago I don't really care it works I'm back to four I was doing two and I don't know why I switched to four I was just like you know what I'm gonna go back and I, I think I have noticed a difference like from two I was like okay I felt better on two than no pills but since I've switched back to four, like one of the ways I can really tell you the easiest, because I don't write everything down. I don't keep track of all my weight, you know, what I lift and stuff on everything. I've been doing it long enough where I know. Tricep pull downs with the ropes. I typically, like when I wasn't living at this apartment, when I was working up at the other gym, I would do 70s. 70 pounds, I put the weight stack at, at 70 pounds. I was like, Ugh. I was struggling at 70. Like that was giving me a really good workout. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday was push day. And I did the tricep pull downs and I got to 70. I was like, 
I got those stacked to 90. I put it at 90 and was doing them and pretty comfortably. I probably could have went one more plate higher, but it's like, you know, I don't want to injure myself. So I've definitely been seeing a difference and I know there's going to be those who say, you know what, that's not from this. That's just because you're gaining strength. No, because when I went off this for that, what, week and a half to two weeks, strength dropped right off. Like I wasn't lifting heavy at all. So now I'm back on four pills and I'm starting to lift a lot heavy, heavier than I was a month ago. So there it is. Um, the proteins, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you updated on that. Like I said, meal intake isn't the greatest. I do have, I don't have fast food as much as I used to occasionally. It just depends if I'm out and about. I have noticed my weight. Like if you follow this channel and I was doing those weekly updates, I think I got down to a low of like 152. And I know a lot of people are commenting like, that's too low, man. You're trying to put on muscle, you're, you're too low. This last week, I've been weighing myself, I've been about 164. So I've gone up in weight. I do feel, I mean, I do have a little gut. I don't know, you probably can't see. I mean, to me, it's a little gut. More than what it was. Um, mainly because I've dropped off on cardio. Like I just lift pretty much, but I, and I was, uh, I forgot, I was gonna show you guys. For those who haven't seen anything, um, I do have this bike over here. And I was just doing like, there's boo boo. I was just riding it for like 10 minutes every few days. Now I'm doing like a half hour on there a day. So I'm trying to get my cardio going again. And let's go down to my little home gym. So I'm trying to get the cardio going more than I was just to burn a few extra calories, especially with the stacks I've been eating. So this is my home gym here. I have the SF3 from Costco that I have set up in here, basically in my bedroom, but it works because my bedroom's so big that it works. And I got a little weight stack over here and the bench I just have sitting over there right now because we just worked out today. But I want to show you, I just got some new attachments that absolutely, love all right closet's a little mess i got these i got these v bars off of amazon i think it was like a 150 bucks and you get and the, the smaller ones here these are absolutely amazing love working out with those i got the big mirror here in front of where we work out so that's what we do work out here six days a week usually by myself most days i have people come over friends work out a few times a week um so i will keep you updated like i said i kind of fallen off the weekly updates of like the turk updates and stuff maybe more like a month because i wasn't seeing much difference you know week to week it just felt like i was just regurgitating the same stuff over and over so maybe it'd be more like monthly and if you have any suggestions like this was suggested hey i want to see your protein intake what you're taking and stuff if you have anything else you want to see maybe you want to see what workouts do you do on what days and stuff anything you want to see leave it in the comments below and i'll see if i can put up a video for you so if you've enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already subscribed i'll see you in the next video